Hi, I'm Edmund Harris, and I'm now on. Good. Um, I'm Edmund Harris, and with Alex Bellos, as we talked about yesterday, um, I've just released a coloring book of mathematical images. And what I'm going to talk about now is in more, a little bit more detail about one of those images and some other ways that I've been using that idea. Um, so probably everyone is familiar with uh, Escher's transformations or deformation images where one thing slowly transforms into another. Um, you can even see t-shirts with that sort of thing around the room if you look carefully. Um, and um, these were sort of renamed in a more geometric sense parquet definition, uh, deformations by Huff. And here are some of the examples of his work. I give thanks for these images to Craig Kaplan, who has also done a lot of investigation of the sorts of things you can do, the sort of transformations you can have going from one sort of tile to another. Um, and I had seen many of these things, so um, I thought, well, one dimension is fine, but two dimensions would, would be better. And then, of course, I started looking into it, and uh, Craig had developed that, and then I was talking to, to Craig Kaplan yesterday, and it turned out that Huff had two-dimensional ones as well. Um, so I was being original in a well-trodden path. But um, uh, I also really like to do things with uh, aperiodic and non-periodic tilings. Um, and so the first step with any of these things is to come up with the set of patterns you want to transform between. And so here are four patterns um, on um, top of a, uh, a substitution tiling with 12-fold rotational symmetry. Um, and each of these patterns is associated to a pair of numbers. So you can um, just pick any two numbers and you'll get a pattern. Um, and then you set up a system so that you can smoothly go between along paths in that two-dimensional plane of numbers. So now I've got a sort of plane, I've got a two-dimensional region of patterns. And I want to transform between them. So, for example, I can go between pattern A and pattern D. So pattern A is on the left, pattern D is on the right. Between C and B, or between all four. And um, your gift from both Alex and I is a version of this image uh, done in more detail as a poster. Um, around the time, I, was also, I also got a commission to do four elevator surrounds um, at the University of Arkansas. Um, and so as all floors of buildings should go um, 8, 10, 12, 14, um, I created a, a series of works based on these ideas, built off the eight-fold Ammon Binka tiling, the 10-fold Penrose tiling, uh, the 12-fold Sokolar tiling, and a 14-fold substitution tiling that I made. If you look very closely at the 14-fold substitution tiling, you'll find it's not really a substitution tiling. There's some bits where the different tiles overlap. Um, so that's a, if you ever come to University of Arkansas, there's a challenge to find that in there. Um, and just last week, I was hoping that they would be installing all four, but they did manage to install the first two. So this is the first floor, or the eighth floor, as it should be more properly. And then the tenth floor when my computer goes. Um, and so as this is uh, 12, here is a more detailed version of the 12-fold uh, the deformation. And we can zoom in to see a little bit of the uh, detail for that. Should be moving in a second. There we go. 
Um, and you can see, so all the images you see from the setup are perfect tiles. But because you have a system where you're just dealing with a, um, a pattern for every pair of numbers and you can move smoothly with them, if you take any nice, smooth, continuous function, you can create new patterns. So here, instead of shifting from right to left and up and down, we're shifting from the center out, going from one pattern to another. Um, and here we have a different one where, again, we're shifting from the, the center out and you're also shifting on a circle uh, round in a periodic manner, and so you've got patterns coming in for that. Um, and so this is at least my contribution to the, the wonderful world of parquet deformations and some of the nice images. Um, I have one further thing to say. Uh, thank you for the people yesterday who you uh, put together these pieces. Um, I'm Alex Bellos suggested the, the name world with an H for this. Uh, so I'm working on a name. Um, but I do have, still have some sheets. Um, so if you're interested in a sheet, uh, the models are out there. Please come and see me. I'll be sitting at the back uh, during the break. Thank you.